Hello, welcome to Coding Box Automation Lab. This is Sharful. So this lecture is about loops in Java. Okay, we'll see what is loops and what type of loops available in across uh, uh, any programming language, including Java. Okay, let's see what is loop. So loops are the way of repeating lines of code until loop condition is met. So it's a loop, so it's another way you can say if you have to do a uh, similar same type of job multiple times, that time you know we use a loop. Other than writing the same code again and again, we just create a loop. Different types of loop is available, so based on our requirement, we create one of the loop and then inside a loop there is a body or we'll write the tax exactly what we want to do again and again so that's the loop so it's repeating the same lines of code you know uh, until the condition is true uh, it's met it will repeat the same line of code as long as this condition is met I mean it's true if the condition gets false loop will be jump out of the code Okay, that's a simple definition of the loop. So loops in Java, so there is a you know few number of loops the main uh, in available across all programming languages, including Java, like so while loop, do while loop, for loop. There's another loop is called enhanced for loop, or you can say for each loop. Okay, let's see that what is uh, while loop. So while loop repeats a block of code until the condition is true so this is a very universal you know uh, the definition of a loop like the the, the loop will uh, you know uh, there will be block of code and will keep continue will repeat it again and again until the condition is, is true okay and so while loop is similar and it has a syntax you can say while is a key or a keyword or reserve word and there will be condition it's a boolean condition true or false if the condition this condition is true our compiler will get inside and this is called body of your loop and and the code what you, it's going to be here the whatever the tax you want to do again and again so you will have a line of code here that's called your while loop body so when the condition is true compiler will come here and then it will execute the code over here one time and then it will come back compiler will come back again to the condition and it will check the condition if a condition is true it will get inside and do the job again so it will keep continue the job you know repeating the line of code over here as long as the condition is true if the condition is is false it will jump out of the loop okay let's see in, as an example so okay while loop let's create a let's create a class we'll go in a eclipse I'm going to create a class let's give a name while loop main Java okay so here let's let me put the condition I mean the syntax again so that we know what is the syntax the syntax is hold a while and then there will be condition condition and then the body of the loop you can say this is the uh, body of the loop okay so this is the I'm putting in a comment so this is the syntax of a while loop while condition if it's true will go inside the body and will repeat it the same thing will check as long as the condition is true okay so let's do some real example say I would say integer i equals to zero then uh, I would say while while i 
okay, less than five. So if i is less than five, do something. This is my body. So I would say print something. Sys dot out. Then I would say just print the value of i. It's very simple, right? And then increase the value of i. So what I'm uh, what I did here, I initialize I declare variable i and it's initialized with a zero so I'm saying while i less than 5 which is true if it's true it will get inside and it will print the value of i so we started will print zero and then I will increment it's a you know increment by one so I'm going to increment the value of i so it's going to be one so now is i is one and go back to uh, in our loop condition here it also i is one I one less than five is true will get inside will print the value of I which is one now and then it will increment so it will be two and then we'll go back to condition again two less than five yes true it will print two and then will uh, will increment again you know two to three so this way you know I the value of I will be five so it will print from zero to four and when the value of I is five the five less than five no the condition is false so it will not go inside this body okay we'll jump out from the loop so it will print from 0 to 4 okay so let's execute it here we go you can see here is the print here on your on my console 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so that's the way the you know while loop it works it's very simple you can see this is the uh, you know the syntax is matched with me with my coding the while while this is the condition this is the condition and for the body this is the body okay so that's very simple next let's see what's the next do while so do while it's similar to while like do while it's uh, but the only difference is that in this loop the block is guaranteed like do block do block is guaranteed to run at least one time because if this is the syntax syntax like a do keyword and then the body of the do uh, uh, do block so there will be some code and then a while keyword and then condition if the condition is true the compiler will go back to the do block and do the job so and then we'll come back again we'll check the condition so even the first time the condition is false but it will execute the do block at least once because uh, the compiler will start to execute the code from the do block first so no matter what the condition the blue co do block will execute at least one okay but if the condition is true it will go back to the the block again and will execute will check the condition true or false based on that it will either go to back to the do do block or not okay let's see an example so I have uh, another class like empty class is called the do while okay let's see that uh, I can check we can show some example here okay example would be say here let's see I'm going to use the similar type of example like while integer i equals to 0 and then I would say do then do is a keyword for the do while uh, uh, you know the loop so do then this is the block of the uh, do block I mean uh, for the do so I would say sys out and then I will just print the value of i okay and similarly I will increment the value of i and then I will say every time okay I will say here while the keyword while and I will check the value of i with a less than 5 okay save it so what I did I said do initialize I with a zero and after that I said do so the block of do 
So first I'm in, uh, you know, printing the value of i, which is 0, it started the 0, the increment, so i will be 1, then I'm saying compare while i less than 5. So 1 less than 5, yes, it will go back to again and do, and again it will print from, uh, uh, now it's i equals to 1, it will print 1, and then increment uh, i plus plus, it means 1 will be 2, then 2 less than 5, yes, so it will keep continue you know uh, until the i value is 5 it will print the fifth value and and when it will come here uh, 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 it will sorry it will print up to the fourth value so when it's come to here it will increment from fourth to fifth then fifth less than 5 no it will not then go back to the uh, do do block so it will print from 0 to 4 it's supposed to yeah let's run it run java here we go you can see started the zero then one two three four when then after the four is here then I uh, I you know increment to five and then five less than five no so it will not go back to the do block again okay here uh, if you want I can say here one thing say example I put a the I less than one okay let's see that what happened it should as I said like a do block will execute at least one even the condition is is false because if you see now it's I initializes it's I equals to zero and then I increment I e plus one so it's one so one less than one no it's not true so even this one first time is the condition is false it will execute this block let's print it save it let's print it you can see it here you go you can see at least it's print one time because I initialize one and I printed I so which is the zero so the the block it's get executed at least one time even though the condition while condition is false okay it's a very simple concept but it's very important okay, next for loop it's a one of the most important loop in a programming concept okay for loop in for loop uh, it has a three part we use uh, uh, it for loop it's it's a such kind of loop like uh, you will have uh, initialization like uh, the uh, since it's a loop is again to repeat same line uh, same li lines of code but it's for loop is such kind of loop that's uh, help you to start your loop it's give you the initialization the starting your loop value like from where you want to start your loop then how long you want to keep continue like uh, the number of times you wanna continue your loop based on some condition like uh, in unlike while loop we have seen a while loop it's just a condition so it will keep continue the loop as long as this condition is true but it for a for loop it's not only the, your condition you know uh, you will have a three different part you will have a initialization after you write a for and then there will be it, it will have a three parameter like one is initialization which is will tell you that from where you'd like to start your journey for the loop and then your condition this condition will you know maintain the how many times or how long you will loop will continue and then there will be update part so update part you know will increment your initialization value like from where you started since if you want to move to the next iteration this update part will help you help you to move to the next iteration so so the last part is update it updated means it could be increment it could be decrement and and based on your condition w you know it, your code will get executed in the you know inside the body so how it works first there will be for keyword and then there will be initialize and then condition so initialize and uh, will be just look for one time will execute one time whatever you initialize and after that it will check the condition if is a condition is true the compiler will get inside to the body it will do the job it will execute the code then it will come come back to the update here and then it will do the update either increment or decrement after that it will check the condition and then we'll get back to the in if the condition is true it will get inside the body and will do the uh, uh, execute the code it will never 
go back to the initialization after the first time it it check the install initial initialization okay every time moving forward it will go back after the execution the code in the body it will go back to the update do the update check the condition if it's true it will get inside and execute the code of the body okay let's see an example uh, for loop I have a class it's called for loop and then we'll create something very simple we'll try to make it simple say here is a the print number from 1 to 10 okay let's I'm going to say say sys sits out I'm going to say let me uh, put some messages uh, the numbers say numbers are okay and then so we're going to print our problem we're going to print number from 1 to 10 okay so I can do it through the for loop we'll say for and then I will first part is initialization so I'm declaring a va variable I and type is integer equals to and this part it means the initialization it means so you want the uh, you want to say from where your loop or iteration is going to start so we want to print number from 1 to 10 so uh, we want to start our loop from the value of 1 so we can say here i equals to 1 and next part it's condition so condition it means you know it this uh, it, it will verify the condition as long as it's true it will get inside the body so what would be our condition I want to run how many times it started from one and how many times I want to run I want to run up to 10 so I can say I less than equal 10 so this makes sense so it started from one and I want to and which is the I is uh, one equals to I put in I so and I want to run this loop uh, up until 10 the value of i is 10 so I said i equals to less than equals to 10 right so it will be considering 10 also and then I can increment the last part is update so which is I can increment the value of i so I will start from 1 then through the increment it will you know get the value uh, the value of i will get increment like from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and then every time will increment it will check the co condition is true it will go inside and then this is the body of my for loop so what I want to say I want to just print the value of i so I would say sits out I would say just put the i so it means so first it will start at i equals to 1 and then 1 less than equal 10 is true will come here it will print the value of i which is 1 and then we'll go back to here the update part so i is now increment will be increment so will be now one or uh, two so two less than ten equal yes true and here come and print the value of i which is two so then it'll go back to again i will be three then check the condition true and we'll print the value of i which is three so it will keep continue keep continue up until the i value is ten uh, the last one is i value is 10 10 less than equal 10 is true will come here will print the value is 10 and when it's going uh, go uh, increment the value of i from 10 to 11 and this condition will be false because 11 is not less than or equal to 10 so it will not go back to uh, the body of the of our loop so it will be print from started to 1 up to 10 okay let's run it save it and run it Java application here we go you can say the numbers are which is the you know the print message I put first and then here is a one two three four up to ten so that's a way we can print number from one to ten okay